I think uh, communities that don't have libraries, communities that limit their libraries end up suffering as a result. Libraries are very special places. They're sort of the ultimate egalitarian institution. People from all walks of life, all socioeconomic backgrounds can come and use a library as a place to learn, as a place for information, for education, for opportunity. You know, libraries are more than just a place where you can go and check out a book. You know, they're places that, that promote, you know, social discourse, that promote social justice, they're places that promote free thought, curiosity in children. They're often at the front line of identifying a community's problems and its needs. One of the things I'm finding is I talk to many, many different parents. You get a lot of really low-income people in this country Libraries are the only places they can get books and the only places they can get internet access. You know, there's a lot of people that can't afford a $15 paperback book. They've got to wait for it to come into the library. And so I'm really concerned about all the library hours and things being cut back. So I come to you today with real joy uh, that you exist and that your libraries, I hope, are open. I hope they're not being so deeply um, cut in funding that you have to scramble to uh, bring education and compassion and uh, spaciousness to students, to young people. I hope that you will survive. You know, I hope that the absolute need for knowledge will not be compromised by the um, damaging of what you offer. To the, to the culture. You offer so much to this culture and to the world. Because also a library is a community place, you know, where people come together and not, you know, zines, like then we have our own community. It's like all these voices coming together, people's own experiences. So I have a little section of like, for self-published stuff like in the community that would give like a more accurate temperature of what that community is about or that town or that place. Library made me feel safe safe to explore new places, new ideas, even controversial opinions. Safe to set off to a different path, safe to question. And in 1956, at the age of 16, with some of my brothers and sisters and first cousins, we went down to the public library in the little town of Troy, Alabama, trying to get library cards trying to check out some books. And we were told by the librarian that the library was for whites only and not for colors. I never went back to the Pike County Public Library in the little town of Troy, Alabama, not the same building, until July 5th, 1998, for a book signing of my book, Walking with the Wind. And hundreds of black and white citizens showed up. And at the end of the program, they gave me a library card. 